Well, if you've ever taken the scenic drive up the Beartooth Pass near Red Lodge, you've no doubt seen the incredible views and vistas the mountains have to offer. But how often have you thought about the natural forces that have shaped the landscape over the years, billions of years? Q2's Mitch Laggy tagged along with a, on a tour with two experts who know those answers. About 10,000 feet up in the Beartooth Mountains, you can find beauty just about everywhere you look. Every highway pullout offers a good spot to snap a photo of the mountain peaks and their many lakes. And even on the ground, you'll find something special, with wildflowers blooming despite the harsh environment. You also may find Phil Robertson and Ennis Garrity in this wilderness. The two men have made careers out of studying the Beartooth Mountains. Robertson is an ecologist who's taught college students about the Beartooths for 36 years. He spoke about the lodgepole pine trees that make up much of the forest in this land. These trees are dependent on fire to rejuvenate the soil and release seeds from their cones to produce more trees. These are fire-dependent forests. The species that we have here have evolved. Characteristics that both promote and resist fire. Adding to their fiery nature, the needles of a lodgepole pine are filled with a flammable substance called terpene, and their small surface area is conducive to burning helping to continue the life cycle of the forest. After starting in Red Lodge, the tour traveled to Vista Point on the Beartooth Highway. Here, geology plays a role into where the trees grow. You'll notice patches in the valley where growth is absent. This is because a massive glacier carved out this valley around 12,000 years ago, and the soil that it left behind in those spots wasn't conducive to growth. Beartooths were covered under thousands of feet of ice that melted and eroded off and carved out those beautiful um, tarn lakes, headwalls, cirques, and, and just beautiful alpine glacial topography. Garrity is a geologist who's been working with the Stillwater Mine since 1988. He said that the glacial valleys seen from Vista Point are some of the younger formations that are found in the Beartooths, but many of these rocks date back billions of years. South of Livingston, there's a date, the oldest date in the Beartooth is at 3.5 billion years old. So you have a tremendous amount of geology to work with here. Uh, south of Red Lodge, it's 3.4 billion years old. The Beartooths were formed around 65 million years ago, thanks to the collision of tectonic plates. To put that date in perspective, recorded human history only goes back about 5,000 years. So the next time that you're traveling up the Beartooth Pass, Take a moment to stop and ponder and think about where these rocks were three billion years ago. Reporting from Vista Point on the Beartooth Pass, I'm Mitch Laggy for MTN News. All right, thanks Mitch. Now Mitch also tells us the Beartooths were used for a short period of time during World War II to mine chromium, an ingredient in the steel making process. But after foreign markets opened back up, the mine was abandoned.